regarding this post courtesy of the Friday Kids subreddit, which I thought was very, very interesting because it kind of posed an interesting question. And I feel like I could maybe provide some answer as to why this may be the case. So it's courtesy of the Friday the Kids sub, as you can see here, it's courtesy of your user called username 850. And they say the following, um, it's called Don't Feed the Trolls. It says, something has been bugging me for years about Brendan Schaub's situation, and I'm struggling to understand why. The commonly advised best tactic for low cows and celeb fools in general who come under scrutiny from the internet is to simply ignore the trolls. However, most fail to do so, and at the end of the cycle, and at the end, and end up in a cycle of taking the bait and being trolled for the rest of their life in the limelight. Surprisingly, Brendan, a guy who is considered not at all smart, has actually seemed to take this advice on board. Maybe because Rogan has a philosophy of don't feed the don't read the comments and brendan idolizes him regardless for sure ignoring the trolls has done seemingly nothing to deter the trolls the simple answer is is probably because people who come under fire from social media usually are under fire because of one viral incident a tweet or something and once the fire dies down the trolls disengage and that person is left with their own core audience i don't think sure has a core audience and he is on almost every think he does causing some sort of in, in, incident that will cause people to point and laugh or just be annoyed by him in general perhaps that is the sole reason but it's just so bizarre to me that a man who tries so hard to not acknowledge the, the legion of people that hate him or who are against him sorry besides the suing of the the reddit fiasco has the zero success in deterring them i am baffled and i can't help but wonder if it began to actually acknowledge the trolls and if early in his career he played into the role of being that dumb guy who wouldn't be better off now if he wouldn't be better off now now my comment on this is follows i honestly think <clears throat> the reason why brendan gets the fucking amount of hate that he does in the way that he does personally in my personal opinion is this i think his main issue is that he's just so incredibly redacted so incredibly dumb yet has the excess success of somebody that doesn't actually match his level of acumen his level of intelligence and shit and i think that's so jarring <laughs> to a lot of people out there they just can't wrap their head around it because i think about it today think of anybody else on brendan's level who's as dumb as him who's as kind of like monetarily on paper successful i know there's conversations out there about whether the guy's in debt whether or not his dad kind of funds him whether or not the fucking businesses actually make any money sponsors okay pull that side to what pull that to one side just look at the fucking evidence that we have so far right he lives in a what you, most people would deem to be a nice house he drives what people deem to be nice cars um he looks after his whole family with just his paychecks and they don't have to work he puts his kids through private school his wife has got expensive tastes and she doesn't look like she's ever kind of skimping on her lifestyle and never kids on the way so all the markers all the kind of things that we kind of use as barometers of like people's you know success in the field that they're in is there in that respect right the only thing maybe is lacking is maybe his comic stuff is kind of going a bit down the pan in terms of his bookings and stuff are starting to dry up a bit and he's obviously not touring as much as he once was around the world cool whatever but i don't think there's anybody else on brendan's level who is as dumb as he is but as successful as he is and i feel like over the years for whatever reason maybe it's a hubris maybe it's maybe it's just you're not meant to do it i don't know but for some reason he failed or refused to acknowledge the role that kind of joe rogan's friendship played in his ascent and obviously do you see the role that the podcast and brian Callen early on success played in his success he always tried to like make it seem as or didn't want to let go of the idea that he was the only reason why he was successful despite obviously being incredibly dumb so i think that's the main reason why the hate that he gets never stops because i think most rash most rational reasonable normal people look at him and think that's not fair so it's a bad way to look at it because i don't think you can compare yourself to people and comparisons of fifa for joy and you know would you really want to swap your life for his life really aside from the monetary physical things that people may like or whatever the trappings of that success is it really a life to worth living i probably wouldn't in my personal opinion but everyone's different but i think that's a reason why this hate doesn't stop it's similar to like DSP in a way, a little bit similar to Dark Side Feel, in that they're so demonstrably horrible people, but 
despite that they seem to be somewhat successful in what they do in that they're able to kind of work being a content creator or a streamer and shit it legitimately just jars in people's head they can't wrap their head around it how is somebody that redacted able to be that quote-unquote successful or a millionaire wherever it just doesn't make any sense so i think that's the reason why his hate is the way it is personally and of course he didn't do himself any favors by refusing to acknowledge or to even kind of accept that those guys like Brian and fucking joe rogan played any role in his success any meaningful role he was never really sincere about it whenever he did kind of admit to it he kind of just admitted to it just to kind of seem like he was somewhat human but i don't honestly think deep down in his heart he honestly believes that they did anything for him he probably still thinks he did it all by himself that's how much of a you know narcissist and an ego maniac he is in that respect so i think that's the reason why the whole don't feed the troll things has never worked for him and why the trolls don't seem to ever let up either because i think more people stumble across him find out how redacted he is and are just like hold on how is this person alive number one and how is it possible that they are on paper a lot more successful than i am you know they just don't get it they just can't understand it they don't get it it doesn't seem fair and then they just go down a rabbit hole and then little by little they start to realize oh this is what's going on now and then it kind of turns into what it turns into that's my personal opinion what do you guys think in the chat if you're unredacted or not what do you guys think um but if brendan is a, such a good guy why did he bully the roommates by stealing this food and throwing it in the window exactly <laughs> you say i understand mike tyson more than i understand papa you can be dumb if you're an athlete but a stand-up is actually 7 dirty i agree with that papa's most used feature on twitter on insta is the block button agree he's the guy that bullied everyone in high school the the but yeah cool and what you're saying yeah same for the bert thing too uh same thing for bert i don't know if i agree with that with you chase same thing i don't know if i agree with that and i think i agree with that i think the bird thing unfortunately for some people yeah i don't think i agree with that one i think the bird thing unfortunately for some people a lot of it just stems from a lot of it just stems from like him just maybe just taking what he has for granted i think more so more so yeah exactly exactly Uche. so many alcoholics are jealous that Bert cracked the code exactly that's like I was trying to get at. I think it's twofold there's a half of Bert's audience that just think he takes what he has for granted maybe they don't want to copy his fucking lifestyle but they think to themselves fuck man imagine I had, if I had opportunity to make money just talking to a microphone and chatting shit on fucking podcasts right and I got to do it from the comfort of my own home studio I got to incorporate my family into it people loved my wife and she could make content as well they'd be loving it and then I guess there's another half of the community of his fans or haters who are like you know in their own way functioning alcoholics who don't get the same opportunities that Bert does don't live the life that he does and don't, just think it's unfair especially in this kind of economy that we're in right um this somewhat mild recession unemployment through the roof there are some people who are really damn bad and they probably you know didn't go to college for as long as fucking Bert did what was it like seven years or some shit and they just can't figure out why um you know <laughs> they can't figure out why exactly this is happening they just can't figure it out so i kind of get it i'm not gonna lie i kind of get it i kind of get it um i just don't understand why they don't understand it like i think if you're objective and you look at them from the outside in it's easy to see why people would not like brendan shaw you know what i mean he's a very unlikable character in the same way or in the opposite way that fucking fear was very likable you should be able you should be able to see how you're viewed i think whether or not you change is your prerogative i think irish fear is the master of that irish fear kind of knows why people don't like him but he's also kind of you know very nonchalantly doesn't really give a fuck about what you think about him and is refusing to change he kind of doubles down on what he's like his fans who like it like it who does or don't don't but he's very much in that sort of mindset of i'm going to keep my niche fans by just being unapologetically me all the time and being okay with the people that don't like the version of me because that's the only version i can give them whereas these guys like the brendans and the burts and stuff they have this illusion that they're fucking great guys great guys great guys great guys and they can't figure out why a regular dude who works a nine to five in a building site somewhere who doesn't get the chance even to fucking take their kids to school they come back home their kids are sleeping they wake up their kids are sleeping they can't figure out well, why that guy doesn't like them <laughs> you know 
<laughs> it's pretty easy to fucking figure out why those guys don't like you because you know if they had opportunities that you do to live the life that you did they'd be you know making the most of it 